The Situational Awareness Viewer enables emergency managers and GIS support staff to identify threats or impending hazards and understand the impact to people and places within the area. This application can be used on its own or in combination with the Situational Awareness Suite. The Situational Awareness Viewer is a configuration of ArcGIS Web App Builder and the Situation Awareness Widget and uses your common operational data in helping you to size up the potential impact of a forecasted hazard or threat. To use the app, I'll begin by opening the Situation Awareness Widget. The first step is to locate the incident boundary. I can do this in several ways. By dropping a point, for example, at the location of a vehicle accident, drawing a line to indicate a tornado path or train derailment, or by drawing a polygon around something like a chemical spill. I can optionally apply a search distance with the buffer slider. The other option I have is to simply click on the map and choose an existing feature. This can be useful when you're monitoring watches and warnings and you'd like to identify a flood warning as your incident boundary. In this case, I will select this area for my impending flood hazard. Then I can use the tabs to get inf information about this area. The weather tab shows me a simple forecast for weather over the next several days. Next, I want to know what the total population is. In the demographics tab, I'm presented with a breakdown of the total population and what the population of school aged and seniors are within my incident boundary. I can also see a statistic for households without vehicles. On the Request tab, we get information about the numbers of people that have pre-registered for special assistance in a case of emergency. We can see what types of needs this group have and how many may need help evacuating. Another thing I can do is get current shelter information. On the Shelters tab, I can see what the current shelter capacity is, along with how many shelters are open and how many beds are available. We can do the same thing for hospitals. We get a total count of hospitals and how many beds are available. In addition to these data, we may want to take a look at some of the infrastructure. For example, how many schools are there if we need extra shelter capacity, and how many students may need to be evacuated. We can determine where the bridges are and get a total count within our incident boundary, and we can look, take a look at the currently established road closures. With the Situational Awareness Viewer, emergency management staff can identify the impact of an incident on public infrastructure and human populations. If you'd like to learn more and configure the Situational Awareness Viewer for your organization, please visit the Solutions site. Thanks for watching.